Adam's been with the company from October, September, my apologies, 9th, 2020 to current date, 9th of February, 2021. This is the journey of Hassan. Hassan has been managing $30,000 of company funds, starting from $15,000. He's maintained a daily rate of 0.08% and a monthly gain of 2.50% and a drawdown of 6.12%. So how did this journey happen? He basically, Hassan's been hitting a peak of 3%, 2.8%, 2.3%, and he had a big drop. He hit a deficit of minus 3.59, but as we can see from that deficit, he's creeped his way up, down, up, down, and eventually Hassan got to his 10% by getting there. But it's all about being consistent. It's not about the number of trades you have. It's all about quality. And at the end of the day, if you can hold the balance and still have losses, you can still be a successful trader because on average, you always end up in profit. And this is what Hassan is telling us through his story. The statistics don't lie. So if we go down to the summary, Hassan's had a total of 248 trades. 248 trades is quite reasonable for this level of being on 30,000 US dollars. But let's see the best trades that Hassan's taken. Now, what trades has he taken? Hassan's had quite a few trades, as we can see from here, quite a few. But we can see his most successful trades are on the pound pairs, I'll say. But now I'm not looking at the, just the pound pairs. He's made 355 pips on the pound AUD, traded it 14 times and on the long side, and traded it 11 times on the short side. And guess what? He's won all of those trades, giving to a grand total of $935. The next strong one um, trade he's had is the US dollar CAD and the um, US dollar Swiss franc the only, and um, the pound US dollar. Although the tip sizes are quite small, but we have to understand he's probably used a bigger lot size to implement these gains. So, Looking at his P&L account, we have losses and we have gains. But it's not really about the losses and gains. It's about how you maintain the balance. And clearly, he's done a good job in maintaining the balance by having a few losses and a few gains. But clearly, we've seen red, we've seen green. But this trader is still holding the balance. So let's look at the equity curve. This is very impressive. Up, down, up, down, up, down. So $30,000, just under 250 trades, is not a bad achievement. I'll make a few recommendations. One, stick to pairs that are profitable to you. Number two, do a trading plan and reflect on the pairs that you've lost, that, what that's gone wrong. Number three, join the Audacity Community app where you have other traders where you can get support from and hold yourselves accountable. This is the ultimate successful tool out there. So the Audacity community app will definitely help you. I, I talk in there, I post charts in there, and this will help you achieve your goals. So moving forward on this, this trader has done very well. And I strongly believe this trader will go on to be successful and hit the next level of 60,000 US dollars. So without further ado, I wish this trader all the best. And looking at the drawdown, we can see the drawdown is clear, just under 10%. And look at the profit level as well. We can see the profit, which is red, over the drawdown. And as we can see, we can see how the account has been deteriorating in profit over the period of time. So you can see how far we've gone up. And this is very impressive, man. You see the account going up, 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 up. And you see this is it, profit. And this is where we are currently at 2.46%, which is reflected here on the PNL statement. So Hassan, I wish you the best. Just listen to my tips, focus, discipline and consistency, and enjoy what you do. And I guarantee you're going to get the results and be a very successful trader. And I wish you all the best.